This is where a candlelight vigil will be held tomorrow night in honor of Tika Lewis. Her mother tells me she'll be releasing 25 balloons, one representing each year Tika has been missing. Aww. It's hard to say when the bond between a mother and child yeah. truly begins. Since that day, Tika has been special. You know, being born on the 4th of July, She's my independence baby. Tika Lewis and her mother, Teresa, were inseparable, but their time together was cut short. Only got two years to celebrate the 4th of July with her before she was taken from me. In 1999, the two-year-old girl was kidnapped from New Frontier's bowling alley in Tacoma's South End. A Home Depot now stands in its place. And it's where Teresa Chapeska plans to hang this poster, showing what Tika looked like when she disappeared and what she could look like today. 25 years. It's too long. I've missed 20, 25 birthdays. This age progression photo was created by Louisiana State University's Face Laboratory. It's on flyers that local businesses are helping to distribute in hopes of reminding the public that Tika is still missing. It's time to find out what happened to Tika. Let's bring her home. And if she's not here no more, at least tell her tell us what happened to her. In the decades that Tika has been gone, she's now become an aunt to nine nephews and three nieces. And Teresa is holding on to hope that Tika will meet them all someday. It's 25 years and I shouldn't be without my daughter. My, my hopes is that Tika walks through the crowd and says, I'm Tika Lewis. A press conference will also be held tomorrow night. That will hopefully shed some more details into what happened to Tika. Now, that is actually a private event, but the candlelight vigil happening right after is open to the public, and that starts at 730. For now, in Tacoma, Nia Wong, Fox 13 News. Over the years, tips have led detectives to search for one man described as 5 feet 11 inches tall with a husky build, shoulder-length curly brown hair with a thick mustache and a heavily pockmarked face. They also say a late 80s or 90s maroon or dark colored Pontiac Grand Am was seen speeding away from the bowling alley after Tika disappeared. Tika's family believes somebody out there knows what happened to their daughter and they are urging you to come forward to help detectives and give them some much needed closure.